It was a bright, cold morning, and the nation's eyes were on Florida. Pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista Masala. NASA was about to send a seven-person crew into space, among them a teacher, Krista McAuliffe. I don't think any teacher has ever been more ready. I always wanted to be an astronaut. Cherie so Kearns was working at an accountant's office. Part of my spirit was really with these teams when they went up. And when I saw the, the vehicle lifted off, this is my heart just ri rising up. This is the teacher going, this is awesome. 73 seconds into flight, it was suddenly horrifically over. Obviously a major malfunction. And school kids across the country saw it. Matt Hagopian was in eighth grade. You could just tell that it, it didn't go as planned and it was just gone from like confusion to just like just shock. If your heart could sink to your stomach, I think that's what I felt. NASA took the blame for putting an ambitious launch schedule ahead of safety. For two years, the shuttle program was grounded. But in that time, another mission quietly took off with the Challenger commander's widow at the helm. The world knew how they died. We want the world to know how they lived. So why not build a tribute to them? Millions of people remember watching the shuttle explode live on television. But the crew's families wanted their memories to live on in a different way. So they created this, a place where kids can explore space and be inspired. Yeah, look at the radar screen. It's a Challenger Learning Center, an interactive space lab where kids can try out all things space and even be part of the crew. Little kids, they'll come up to me when I'm wearing my flight suit and they'll say, are you an astronaut? No, but I do aspire to be one. Today is the 25th anniversary of the Matt space Hagopian was exactly your age, I was in eighth grade. Was inspired to become an eighth grade science teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, we're passing through a micrometer shower. And Cherie Kearns left the accountant's office to become the fictional Commander Kearns at the Challenger Center in Jacksonville. Maybe this is where I need to be to inspire that next person who goes and walks on Mars, and maybe they'll call me back one day and say, Commander Kearns, remember me? Four million kids have now gone through those centers, and the 48th center opened today. Numbers they're very proud of here at Kennedy Space Center. Harry? Kelly Kobiea at the Kennedy Space Center tonight. Thank you.